it guys how's it going so today we're going to be doing something that i don't normally do and that is a dedicated review video of this project solar 2000 watt power bank so i've been taking and testing this kit out for probably about the past two to three months it's performed so well in that time frame that i thought it would be worth taking and sharing it with you guys because this is a brand that out of all the outdoor content and stuff that i've watched i've yet to see this show up in you know any other content creators videos as far as like this brand goes um and it's really from what i can tell like the best value for money and it's been nothing but durable and i can't believe how much i've used it just in like the past month and a half now with the kit that i got i got the 2000 watt power bank got the easy tow cart that comes with it. that's another thing that seems pretty unique uh to this is whenever you buy the uh, the power station you uh, get one of these carts to go along with it because it weighs around 48 pounds i'll double check that spec here in a minute when we look at this closer uh, you got your wall charger you've got your bag with a rain cover and additional cables like a car charger and then this is a four panel 200 watt fold out solar panel that plugs in the side so you can charge this thing and just go completely off grid with it a lot of these solar panels they normally seem chunky but this thing folds up into this really thin profile and it's got a pocket here on the front that holds the cable that plugs into the power bank for charging uh, i will say i've not got to extensively test the solar panel just because this thing holds so much power uh, that I've not needed to charge it in the field. So uh, I think once summertime gets here, that'll be more of a thing. I mean, it's winter right now, so it's been very, very overcast and just lots of constant cloud cover. If you follow, like, follow me on Instagram or you ever check out any of my YouTube shorts, uh, you will have seen I've used this thing to run an electric chainsaw, an electric hedge trimmer. Uh, used it at the wall tent quite a bit to run my like my laptop, the lighting system that i got set up uh, charging my camera charging my phone and i've used this for tasks like that for three four or five days in a row and then you know just had the battery get down to about like right below 50 percent so you can take and do a ton with this just a few weeks back we had the power go out took and like hooked some lights up to it was able to charge everybody's phone and we was able to sit around the table and play a nice game of cards instead of you know just having to sit in the dark and twiddle our thumbs so now looking at it up close uh, the way you turn it on is by either holding down the dc or ac option and then it just takes a few seconds and you'll see the lcd display come on uh, the nerdy tech spec so it's 2000 watt power bank with uh, 1920 watt hour capacity this thing is tested to retain 80% of original battery capacity at 3,500 cycles, which that is an extremely impressive number. Uh, a lot of power stations that use a different type of battery uh, aren't even near half that. So you got the, the obvious over voltage, overheat, and overload protection. The weight of this is right about 49 pounds. You get the AC wall charger which is what you'll be using most of the time to top this thing off and you just plug it into one of the input ports here there is two so you can charge those two at the same time so that's your fast charging option then up here above that above those two you have your dc input for if you want to use your car charger now that is going to take a lot longer but you know if you want, wanted to top this thing off uh, whenever you're out like overlanding uh, driving from place to place or if you're somebody that's into the whole van life uh, nomadic living situation then uh, you know it's just a great way to keep your battery topped up then right here along this row you have six AC outputs so you can have up to six uh, devices plugged into this as long as you stay within the, uh, the output wattage limit over here in the left hand corner you have a <clears throat> DC 12 volt auxiliary output and then these two right here are a DC 12 volt uh, 55 25 output and one thing too to mention before I forget I have had this and transported this during light rain showers and then once 
to my wall tent in heavy rain with the rain cover but even taking this thing out and it getting moderate amount of precipitation on it worked fine all of these covers right here take and seal nice and snug so you don't really have to worry about any water getting into those ports as long as you keep your covers closed then these three outlets right here you got usb type c with some different wattage outputs and then you have your usb 2a outputs so between like mobile devices cameras uh, laptops just lights everything that i've needed to to do with this i've only found myself needing to use four outputs at a time but if you're with, uh, you know, a group of people or you're using this in a power outage with your family, uh, you know, you can easily plug in everybody's devices. You can plug in, uh, you know, like an internet modem if you wanted to get that back up and running. Just a lot of options. Finally, up top here, you have a wireless charging deck. So you just set your phone or whatever device you have that is compatible for wireless charging uh, on top of there and and that is turned on with the uh, the dc option and that information is also written right there uh, plus you have your user manual with all the uh, technical information we're going to take and hook this thing up to the solar panel so i'm going to get the cables pulled out of here right there is the information guide with it and here you have the immediate technical information we're going to set up the solar panel plug it in and see what kind of input charge we get now right now my power station is on about i think 90 some percent because we got more bad weather coming so i've got like my power station stuff topped off and this thing does roll really smooth um, you know on uneven ground like right now just in the yard and grass like it's fine rolled it over rocks over patio stones no problem okay so I'm just going to focus on getting this thing unfolded and standing up because it's got these legs that unvelcro here on the back and then it just folds out accordion style. And so one thing to point out with these back legs is they have the 45 degree angle marked and you can adjust uh, the pitch of the solar panels by just unbuttoning this and moving this cord so you can have it at a steeper angle you know it depends on like if you're on uneven ground and each one is adjustable and if you had a high enough of an object you could even hang these long ways down okay now this right here is a cable that is in your accessory pouch with your dc car charger and the rain cover and it is what you connect to the solar panel and then you can plug into your charger so you just kind of plug these into the corresponding ends and then just as you would your wall charger you can take and plug this in right here now the sun's kind of working against us with this but as you can see that top bar there is flickering up and down which means this bad boy is charging okay and then with that current sun positioning no shadows there's no way i can uh, get it to probably zoom in from here but we are looking at 123 watts of input right now and you can like see your wattage change just by me like walking in front of it and there we go now we're getting 136 so like it'll it will vary just kind of as the sun moves but these panels are so easy to move around and reposition you can just kind of follow the direction of the sun 
So yeah guys, that is pretty much the down and dirty uh, of this kit. Um, and you're gonna be seeing it a lot more in future content. Uh, it's gonna come in real handy, uh, you know, like whenever I'm going fishing and uh, doing a bit more of things like with a vehicle, do more truck camping or car camping. Uh, because you know right now this time of year during winter i'm pretty much just focused on enjoying the winter weather bushcraft camping uh standard uh, testing out tents hammocks uh, doing things at our wall tent and just getting out and and field testing a lot of other uh, other gear that isn't as electronically based but i'm hoping to get some type of portable air conditioner for summertime because i hate camping in the summer because sweating to death and sticking to plastic camping materials isn't enjoyable and i'm very hot natured but all in all i'll have a link down in the description to this thing's product page that way you can take and dive even deeper into the technical specs and we will look at this bad boy again after i've had probably say around six to eight months of using it and once we start using it uh in the warmer weather conditions so as always guys i really appreciate you taking time to watch the video please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already share the channel with your friends family by enjoys good old outdoor activities hit me up in the comment section with your thoughts opinions uh what have you and until the next one adios